Hi, I'm Thesia Ellis, and welcome to Grandma's Homestead, except we're not going to be on the homestead today. All right, I have a buyer for one of my piglets, one I haven't named, He's, and I have to admit, I was taking pictures and not thinking about, this is a little boarling that I had wanted to keep, but I've got another little boarling that he's pretty cute too, and I'll probably keep him for breeding somewhere down the ride line, I believe. So, we are on our way to uh, Jay, Oklahoma, to meet this guy halfway, and uh, get some, and uh, sell piglets it's hard. and you know how it is last time i was catching piglets well it gets exciting and this poor little guy he is so freaked out so right now he's being pretty quiet and i'm glad maybe having the dogs not looking in the back door helps a little bit too and then we've got other plans after that we'll talk to you in a few minutes well i guess i could have shown you the piglet that we were that we took but we got him delivered safely and poor little guy he was freaked out because he's used to having all eight of his siblings and stuff but uh we got him safely to his new owners. I hope he enjoys his new home. And now we are heading to the Oki Homesteading Expo in Pryor, Oklahoma. So let's go check that out. All right, here we are. And I'm excited, I have to admit. I would, And it's kind of funny because I wasn't even sure I was gonna come this year, but we're here and I'm looking forward to it. That's what I've been doing until I get all of my water glasses out. And then I'll start using it. I'm at the Blessings Are Us uh, booth and they've got beautiful Damascus steel knives. Aren't those beautiful? And then she was telling me about how they are folded and put together and to make a really good strong knife. Cool. Look at that, how beautiful that blade is and these handles. Okay, I know I just showed a video, but then look at these, like the handles here. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, that one Isn't that beautiful? Okay. But if you want to talk, I mean, if you want to, you can talk. I, not, I cannot. This is where she sells kits for microgreens, which I think is a cool idea because a lot of people sell the microgreens, but, they, but she's been having a lot of people who want to learn to start to do it themselves. So why not? Let's do that. I like this. Oh, and over here, I didn't do this either. She's got all this freeze-dry candy. And this looks cool with a bit of honey. With, it's still in the package and everything. I wonder how that did for freeze drying. That's neat. That's cool. This is Plant Spirit Botanical Company. This is organic essential oils here, but they've also got. Oh, look at these. That's neat. Look at different rocks and stuff. It's beautiful. Oh, and the geodes. I think he likes the geodes. Look at these absolute cool fossils. That's fascinating. And they just cut around it. It's so neat. And these guys are based out of Arkansas. That's just too cool. Look at these rocks. They're just too cool. And I don't know what these rocks are. See, I find something similar to this on our property, Kenzie, but I don't know what it, what they are. Ours are more a sandstone. Yeah, I've seen these. I don't know what they are. Though. Cost and on this is Minuteman Scale is, LLC. Is so they did a giveaway. Subscribe to our YouTube channel where you find that cute. Yeah, it is. And they're big dexters, like big dexters. And they're the pigs. Or not pigs. This is a scale. I was looking at the pig and I got it in my brain. At the Old Pecan Homestead YouTube channel. Excellent, guys. This is Sweet Stingers, and they're they're a beekeeping company. They've got a got an observation hive. This is a really cool looking observation hive. I like that. Of course, observation hives are just really cool anyway. And they've got some of their gear here. But look at this. This is a hive box, and so instead, and for purposes of showing people, instead of having a regular frame, they put pictures inside the frame. There's different ones have different different frames have different pictures that's very cool for uh, educating that's neat and look they've got all this beeswax over here they're making beeswax candles that is too cool oh yeah there's some lip balm and lotion bars very cool and some beautiful leather work 
And this is an interesting greenhouse here. Oh, there's a fish in there. Wow. I wasn't expecting that. That's too cool. I like the way they made that where you could actually see that. So this is how they do aquaponics. The fish actually feed the water, which creates fertilizer for the plants, Kenzie. There's a couple fish in there. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Those are tilapia, I think, though. <clears throat> and this is another thing. This has got water underneath it, but it's an ebb and flow bed. So these are real plants, like that, too. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Okay, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> this is from OSU. Pull a cat if you need to. That's interesting. And then, of course, they've got the regular booth over here. Too cool. Okay, so what she's done is she's turned me on to this. This is a really different, this is a different comfrey sab. It's got some other stuff in it. And I'm going to put this on the back of my heel tonight. But she's got all the oils. Kinsey's been over there smelling soaps. Got lotions. Body, oh, there's body sprays up here on the top shelf, Kinsey. <laughs> so yeah, there's this cool. Let me leave my water. Look at these beautiful cups and saucers they've made into planters. Like, isn't that beautiful? There's a lot of cool stuff. And she's got some wonderful jellies and jam. I'm having a good oh, what are these? Egg holders. Oh, oh they're cute. Nah. <laughs> he's got he does some beautiful woodwork stuff. Like look at these. This is a walking stick. And that's from Jurassic Park. That looks very cool. Huh? That, that's a stick there. It's going to go yeah. Oh, this is neat too. He's showing the progression from the block of wood all the way up to the fish there. That's neat. That goats. Milk soap. Oh, this has got soap with thieves in it. Huh? And acne detox. Yeah, I think I bought that for you last year. Well, it is hot, bitch. I mean, you do it kind of comes out. Uh, you know. Cookies. Garlic and herbs. They've got different cheeses here. Yeah. That's cool. My wife made the jalapeno. All right. I found Grumpy Acres. This is too cool. And look, they do the freeze-dried food. She's got chicken alfredo, ham and beans. And of course, they've got the candy and stuff, too. And I just spent probably 20 minutes talking with them. And then she's had all kinds of pointers and cool things so this is too cool i'm so glad i found them and i love this woodwork stuff isn't that pretty i like this stuff oh that's neat too clock. <laughs> Very cool. And now I'm at the switch away uh, booth here. This is really cool. This is where they're trying to do alternatives away from things like Target. We don't know anything about Target and Walmart and all of them to use some of the products that are nearby and and they're clean so that you can use them and they're safe for your animals and everything like that. I'm going to learn about them. But I would just wanted to show you a little bit what we've got here and show some of the stuff that they have. But that's just too cool. All right. That was really cool. I, I don't know how much of uh, some of the stuff I got on video, but my my highlight was with uh, speaking to the the couple at Grumpy Acres Farm. I follow them on their YouTube channel, and uh, and but it was really really neat to get to know them in person. I learned a lot from uh, I don't even know their names. I guess, but. Uh, Mrs. Grumpy Acres and Mr. Grumpy Acres was just a joy to talk to. They were both really fun. I I learned a lot. I uh, I had enjoy, I enjoyed talking to them. I enjoyed talking to all those vendors and stuff. And they had a lot of classes and stuff too. But Kenzie and I were kind of just kind of buzzing through and uh, checking things out. Uh, it was kind of just an afternoon with my granddaughter, and I enjoyed it. But they did this. This is uh, the Oki Homesteading. Um, 
what is it? Okie Homesteading Expo is what it is. And so they had speakers. We were passing through one and there was a lady that was talking about uh, water glass and eggs and stuff. I thought, man, I would have liked to have seen that. But we were passing on through and doing that too. But these guys, they do a good job. It's from Hidden Heights Farm and uh, Keeping It Dutch. Um, I know Daniel Arms comes up from uh, Southern Oklahoma to participate in it and stuff. So there's a few things that are... But Hidden Heights and... Um, uh, keeping it Dutch are actually both local here so that's why it's done in prior it's just done this is the second uh, year they've had it it's wonderful I have a good time and I was really glad to get to meet a few people and talk to a few people and Kinsey had a good time too I'm really grateful for that so that's all I got from you today I've got to get ready the kids camp is coming up we we our church does a uh, it was five days Monday through Friday they go home at noon on Friday but they've cut it back to Thursday <laughs> Thursday evening and I have to admit I'm kind of glad for that but it's fun I get to work in the kitchen I don't think I, I don't think I had the personality to deal with the kids on a regular basis outside of the kitchen I can go out and I can mess with the kids and then I can go back and hide in the kitchen again so I enjoy that but it is kids camp coming up and that's what we're going to be doing this year and I'm looking forward to it all right guys find something to do get up off the couch get up off the recliner turn off the television and yes i've been watching uh ou softball lately and some osu softball but uh and you can tell like as you can tell if you watch any of my videos you know that i'm a sports fanatic and i have to i have to make myself get up and walk away from several things because i would i'd watch sports all the time i don't like the part where they just sit there and talk and talk about the sport that's coming up and talk about the sport that just happened it's like no 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 show me action then get them away let's go to the next action so <laughs> that's, you, yeah, that doesn't surprise most of you either does it all right god bless guys i'll see you next time